Hey everybody, it's Rhiannon. Welcome back to Memory Plans, or welcome if you are new here. Today we are going to be doing a memory spread in my Erin Condren Vertical Planner. This is the Just My Type, which is uh, retired for the 2022-2023 season, but I did get one that goes through the end of um, 2022 calendar year. So we will be seeing this through the end of the year. But um, yeah, so we're gonna be using this freebie that I got from Cricut Paper Co. This is the Wonderland freebie. Oops, sorry, wasn't showing it to you all the way. But here we go, this is just adorable and I thought it would be uh, just a fun little kit to use. It's a four page freebie. Look how fun guys, such vibrant fun colors. Look at the fun washi, oh my gosh, just love the colors on this. functional page here so much fun and then the other functional page just such fun vibrant colors here so I like I said in previous videos I am running out of headers so we're gonna be using this fun like uh, what color is this silver I guess color there for headers and then we're gonna be using this purple one from uh, Sweet Fox Papery, and then we're gonna be using this navy color, which kind of matches, but not really, um, from Keep It Simple Stickers there. So thankfully there were seven of these left, and then that's gonna be, be it for that. And I just realized that I did not pull numbers, so do these match? Because if they do, I'm just gonna, yep, they do. So we're gonna just use these, because they literally were just sitting right there, so. We're gonna use those and that's gonna do it. And so let's just get started. So I think what I'm gonna do first is lay down the um, the bottom washi because that's what I usually do first. So let's go with that. Actually, let's do the dates. Let's do the dates first because, you know, let's just do that first. So how is everybody doing? I'm doing good. Guys, I got my nails done, finally. Oh my goodness, this color was called Electric Remix or something something like that. It was an MTV color, which I think was so fun. My sister and I went and got my nails done yesterday. Well, she got her nails done too. Um, hers was like a super fun neon hot pink. I was in love with her color it turned out so 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 pretty like hot hot pink i loved it and then i was like uh because at, at first we were going to get the same color and then this color like popped out at me and i was like it was calling my name this like um tiffany blue color so then i just changed my mind and decided to go with this color uh, but next time I hers oh Tutti Fruity was the name of her color so then I was like thinking um, should I have gotten you know her color too but it it was fine it was fine so next time I'm though I'm gonna get her color because it was so pretty so so pretty but yeah hers was called Tutti Fruity and mine was called electric remix or something like that but yeah mine was like an MTV color so so yeah, you guys are gonna be seeing this for a little bit because it is a gel color, so it'll stay on for a little bit, you know? Which I'm super excited for because, you know, mama needs a, a manicure that's gonna last a little while. So thank you, Chi Chi, for taking me out to get my nails done for my birthday. It was fun, we talked about Bailey's um, graduation party because I was feeling a little overwhelmed about uh, that. So much needed sister time there. You know, we went to uh, went to got get our nails done, and then um, ran to Starbucks and got a drink and a little. Uh, I got a breakfast sandwich, and then she got um, a grilled cheese. I think. You know, we weren't really super hungry, so we didn't really feel like going to a restaurant. So we just went to Starbucks and got a drink and you know a breakfast sandwich, and she got a grilled cheese and sat and talked about the party, and it was perfect. So yeah, it was good. Got all the 
details hashed out for the party and it uh, felt good you know I felt much more at ease she always um, you know helps wrangle me in when I'm feeling overwhelmed so thank you to my sister for that shout out to her she watches when she has time so if she watches this one you know give her some props and love in the comments to my sister Tiffany oh my goodness there's like a stray Sadie here that keeps getting caught in the washi there we go I was like is this this washi cutter gonna cut through this thick vinyl washi and then if you do buy Cricut Paper Co you do have to use like um a permanent marker like a sharpie or uh, like a micro perm type pen to write on it guys just so you know this washi is so fun I don't even remember what I what I um, when I got this but I've had it for a while and it's been sitting like every time I open my book my um, sticker book it's like the first one that's sitting there so I, I, I would open it and it would literally be the first one staring at me and I'm like when am I gonna use this because it's so fun so now is the day all right I'm gonna lay these down and I will be right back friends Ooh, oh you guys are all crooked here we go alrighty there we go friends it's such a fun mismatch these ones I didn't even realize are like seashells or like starfish but whatever it's all good so let's put down the um, date covers now and I realized this is the second week where I was still writing down something that I was thankful for so I'm super happy for that and since my birthday even though it's only been a few days now since my birthday has passed I've been trying to uh, well number one trying to do something for me every day so uh, that is something that I've been trying to write down that what did I do for me today so that is something that's going to be in my my memory spread either something that I'm grateful for or something that I did for me today so that's going to be something that we're going to be looking forward to seeing in my memory spread so I'm excited for that and you know it might not even be something that uh, I necessarily always share but it's either going to be something that I share here or that I don't share but um, I just wanted to let you guys know that going forward that is something that I'm now tracking that um, I'm consistently going to hopefully be writing down something that I'm doing for myself every day going forward so I just wanted to share that because super important guys super important to do something for yourself okay so this is what I have left in here I have just uh, one little guy white guy there left there with some starfish on it so I'm gonna toss this because I'm not gonna save it just for one guy there I do have um, one set of purple left so I'm gonna save that and then one or uh, three sets of uh, silver so I'm gonna save that as well so we're gonna save those and then I do have this guy and then um, now let's go into the full boxes because they're so so fun and I think I'm gonna use this guy off on the side and make kind of like a header here for the full box on the side and I think I think since I think and, and I think since the bunny you know the rabbit is the main guy we're gonna put him on the side and I'm okay since um, oops let's use my tweezers how about that Rhiannon I'm okay that it's a little bit wider I just have to make sure that this is kind of centered if I could actually get it centered maybe not tweezers this time there we go love that okay so now let's lay down the full boxes and I think I'm just gonna speed through this part cuz you know just just cuz so one two three four five six seven eight so I still have one extra then which is okay I'll probably not use I don't know maybe the key we'll see maybe the teapots I don't know we'll see I feel like he's like an iconic character so we have to use him 
So I'm going to go down here. Now the decision. I feel like the key and this are both classic because this is like for the uh, the Queen of Hearts kind of thing, and then this is for like you know the key to unlock the door. So I don't know. Are there any days that have like minimal things? Sunday, I guess. So I could really put one here and here. Let's do that. Let's just do it. And they'll be two back to back, but that'll be okay. I just don't want to not use them because they're both so cute. Because like right there, that looks perfect. But then, I don't know. I, I don't know what to do, friends. Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> Then there's that one in this row. How about I do that? I don't know. Hold on. Let's see. Whatever. I'm just gonna leave it how it was. Yep, it's just gonna be like that. It's just gonna be like that. There we go. Alright, so now let's get going. I'm not going to use the habit trackers because this is a memory planner and yeah, let's just get on with the plans and then I'll leave the space for the recap and yeah, let's, let's get to it. Got my Sharpie ready and here we go guys. So my first thing is that I'm grateful for my second job and uh, let's see here and I'm not going to start with that though. Did I write down something that I was grateful for every day? I did not. I only wrote it for the first three days. So let's do the grateful for um, here. And then I'm going to use it on... I think I'm going to use these three boxes here. So this day, I put that I was grateful for my second job. Because that is super important, guys. Because it helps bring in extra money so that my girls can dance and do what they love. So there we go. And then it was beautiful weather. So I think this beautiful weather deserves like one of these like fantastic looking boxes right here. right because it's not every day that we have beautiful weather in may when we live in wisconsin and i didn't even write down like what beautiful weather meant but if it was beautiful weather it was pop to me beautiful weather means like mid 70s so probably like 74 ish and sunny is like beautiful weather to me so there we go and i drank all my water and i weighed in and i put uh uh so yeah, I don't know why I, I tracked that, but I did. So we're putting it in the book, guys. We're putting it in the book. So let's use one of these fun ones over here for uh, that I drink all my water. Because if I put it in the book, it's going in the book. Like if I put it in my planner, then we're putting it in here. Because it was important to me then, and it's important to me now. And, you know, some of these milestones might not be a big deal, but it might have been a big deal to me that day. I don't know. I don't know, guys. So, and there's not any fun swirlies, because this is just a freebie. So, because I was going to put a little swirly there and put a... Uh, hopefully that doesn't go through. No, it didn't. Good. Good, good. Okay, so now the next one. Um, this one was actually... There's a, quite a few things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my goodness. Okay, we have eight things to write down here. That's a lot. So let's do the grateful. 
So my grateful for was that I was grateful for insurance uh, because Bailey had an MRI today, Madison had a 3D x-ray, so yeah. And just as, as I'm writing this, Madison has a procedure today for her teeth and I'm also grateful for insurance today, so even though I still have to pay $940, no, $970 out of pocket today for Madison's procedure. Ouch, that's gonna hurt a lot, <laughs> a lot. So yeah, but yeah, that's gonna hurt a lot. But anyway, yeah, still grateful for insurance because you know, that's, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot guys. Life is a lot, isn't it? You know, sometimes it's super overwhelming as well. So Lauren had a concert, Christopher had a concert this day. Um, I did not go to Lauren's concert. Bailey went to Lauren's concert and so did uh, Madison actually. And uh, I think grandma went to Lauren's concert. I can't even remember at this point, but let's put in um, Junior's concert. And this was Matt. Mima and me. And this one was held outside. And it was a fairly nice day. It was we had to have blankets though. And this was a very busy day. I remember that for sure. Um but yeah, cuz I was running around. Bailey had her MRI. This was like a follow-up from a previous one that she had done and it showed nothing that nothing new so that was very good very good news guys and i just realized i'm literally using all the same kind of boxes here so let's change it up a little bit busy day and I shaved my legs and I'm putting it in because it doesn't happen all the time. There we go. Holla. Oh, and I didn't even put Madison's x-ray. That's all right. We'll just sneak it in there. Then Wednesday. Oh, this, this day was fun. This day was super fun. We'll use the cubby blue one for this one and one of these red ones too. So let's do the grateful for first. So I'm grateful for, I was grateful for sister time. Yay. So my sister and I got to go to the Cubs game and it was so much fun. Let's see, what else am I gonna write up here? Um, I'll just write the amazing night on here. And then I'm gonna write down a few other things on here, down here, that went with the amazing night. And I'm gonna snug this kind of on the header because there's a lot of things that went with this. So, let's see here. We found, we found $36, which was super fun. So we got to participate in a raffle which we didn't win, but that's okay. So, and we got free ice cream with finding money. We got a stellar seat upgrade, to section 10 seat upgrade. So close, we, we could like see the players up close, read their jerseys, it was so fun. We were right behind their dugout. Seat upgrade, section 10 seat upgrade. Oh my gosh, it was so fun. We got to do an autograph section, sesh, um, autograph session with one of the um, retired players, Lee Smith. And he was so, so nice, guys. Seriously, so nice. It was, it was just one of the nicest guys. And we were there celebrating my dad's birthday, um, who he, he passed away a couple years ago. This was his birthday. So we were there celebrating my dad's birthday um, and our season ticket holder rep gave us a seat upgrade. So it was just so much fun. We bought matching shirts. It was just such an amazing night. It was just amazing. 
Um, so we got the seat upgrade, we found $36, we um, got the autograph, we bought matching t-shirts, and Christopher made the top 15 in his spelling bee. He sent me a text and he was like, so I made the top 15 in the spelling bee. And I was like, buddy, that's awesome. And he's like, yeah, I, t I totally knew I would. And I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. He was like, yeah, pretty confident, so. So this was between um, everybody in his class. He made, he was the top um, three kids in his class that made the spelling bee, so super fun. Super, super fun. The Cubs ended up losing that night, but it was still an amazing, an amazing night. And then this day, I got to go on a field trip with Christopher, which was super fun. And I didn't write down what I was grateful for, but that's okay. I would say time with Christopher would, is what I would be grateful for if I had to write down anything. So I guess I could still write it down, right? It's fun to see him in his element, you know, with his friends and um, stuff like that. So definitely, definitely grateful for that. So I'm gonna put on here um, field trip with Christopher. We went to Milwaukee, which is just a hop, skip, and a jump away from us because we are not too far from Milwaukee where we live. So we got to take a boat trip around the Milwaukee River, um, Lake Michigan, uh, downtown Milwaukee area, and then we got to see an IMAX movie about dinosaurs. It was super fun. And uh, let's see what else. Let's let's ride in the boat trip first. The boat trip was really cool. We got to go under like this, the really cool bridge that's in Milwaukee. If you've ever um, been to Milwaukee and you see you've seen like the really skinny bridge, we got to go under that. It was super fun, and the kids really liked that uh, going under the bridge for there. And uh, yeah, that was really fun. And then um, we got to see the IMAX movie about the dinosaurs. I'm gonna put that on this really fun one. And the IMAX movie was like in a dome area, a dome theater. And so you got to like sit on these seats and like recline back and watch the movie. It was really cool. And they were learning about dinosaurs in their in their classroom. So uh, they got to see, um, you know, the IMAX about the dinosaurs, which was really, really fun. And, you know, I grew up loving dinosaurs, so it was very fun for me to watch it. And then uh, my face was breaking out apparently, so that was kind of a bummer. But we're gonna put it in because I marked it down, so. And I had a ton of fun on the field trip, and that's the other thing I'm gonna write down. So, major fun day is what I'm gonna write. And I feel like my handwriting is not the greatest today. Like it's not like right, like coming off the pen nice and easy. Like I'm having a hard time writing smoothly, if that's if that makes sense. So anyway, then on Friday, what did I put here? Oh, I was not motivated at all. Great, oh, that's just great, great fun, guys. And I'm gonna put this on this very fun, large purple box right here. You know, some days we just have these days where we're not motivated at all, and this was one of those days. And it's totally okay to admit those days when we're not motivated. So I had one of those days. And that's totally okay. And uh, Hubby had to go to Menards and Costco, and apparently I ran with him when he did those those uh, errands during my, um, during my lunch hour. So we're gonna write that down and we're gonna use this blue box here. <laughs> Oh, and then this was the day that we, we saw the excuse me guy at Menar at uh, Costco. He was the guy that every time we saw him in, in the aisle, he was like, excuse me, excuse me, even though people were nowhere near him. Oh my goodness, that guy was, that guy was weird. I'm putting it down because I want to remember it because it was a fun laugh. Cause then when I remember this, Chris and I would be like, oh my God, yeah, that guy was, that guy was crazy. And then this was like one of my um, first days that I worked at uh, Quick Trip as in my new shift. So we're gonna put that down too. So yay. This was kind of when I first started working there. 
And then what else? Is there one more thing? Oh, I filmed an OUC haul. So, yay, that's exciting. Y'all, I feel like I'm failing at being a PR person for OUC. I really need to step up my game here. I need to step up my game. I'm failing. Ah, I'm failing. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Melanie. All right, so this was Madison's birthday party day, the 21st. So let's put that in here. I'm gonna put this at the bottom. What did we do? We, um, I'm just gonna write in some of these. Well, I wanna use boxes cause there's like so many fun ones left still. So we ran to DQ late. Well, let's put in, let's put in some of these things on the same one. So we had dominoes. We did a late DQ run. Those were some of the fun things that we did. We had some slight drama. I don't even know if we want to put that in there. Maybe we'll just talk about it. We had we had some slight drama with one of the one of the girls, and somebody had to get sent home. So yeah, Sadie was extra sassy, and uh, yeah, it rained a little bit. And uh, so yeah, maybe I'll put Sadie was extra sassy in there because that's a little a little spot right there because it was her birthday. So I think she knew. It was her fourth birthday this day, guys. And then in the morning we did a Target run. So let's find a Target red box for that. There we go. You know, we had to do a last minute Target run for snacks, of course, for the party. And then we, we took Sadie to Starbucks and got her a grande pup cup because I was like, so it's our puppy's birthday, but she's like a big dog. Can I pay you for a uh, grande pup cup? She's like, oh no, heavens, you don't need to pay us for that. We'll just give you a grande one. And I was like, are you sure? She's like, oh yes, we're definitely sure. So then we pull up and she's like, oh yes, she is a big dog. And I was like, yes, she is. <laughs> and Sadie was like, seriously in heaven. She was so, so, so happy. So happy. So let's use one of these giant ones for that. She was seriously in heaven at, at this giant pup cup. Like it took her a while to eat it. And I think she was just like, holy cow, this is the biggest pup cup I've ever seen. She literally had her entire nose in, in the cup eating it. But I mean, she's a hundred pound dog guys. So yeah, she was super happy. Uh, so yeah, and then I'm gonna, I guess I'm just gonna put in here that uh, Christopher and Hubby went to the game, the Cubs game, and that's about it. And that was the end of the day. And it was super fun, and the girls had a great time. And aside from the slight drama, everything else went well for the sleepover. So yeah. And then we move on to Sunday. I was up at 4.15, not because of the girls. They were, t they were perfectly fine. And yeah, that was it. I just naturally get up super early sometimes, so. And today was one of those days. And then we went to High School Musical on Bailey's last day. So let's use a sparkly box for that. And it was a big crowd. It was Lily, Madison, Lauren, Me, obviously. I'll put me right here. Sam. Angela. TT. Mima. Yeah. And, um, Zach. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Lots and lots of fun. And then I had to work at Quick Trip after that. But I'm not even going to put that in there. So, because there's no room. No room for work this day. So there's my week. I don't have any like fun judging things to put in like for here. I think maybe what I'll do is put in, I'm gonna move this water. I'm gonna move this water up a little bit. 
And then what I'm going to do is put in this extra little like washi piece here. Actually, I need to move the water up even more if I can get it. Let's put the washi in first. Oh no. There we go. Perfect. And then now I can put drink on my water. That way it just kind of breaks up that, that huge empty space right there. Perfect. Okay. So now there we go. Sorry for the extra lighting there. But that is my week and I am super excited for that. So let's, let's figure out what I'm going to write in for my little blurb here. I think overall it was a good week, honestly. And uh, I'm happy to say that overall the, uh, the weeks have been very good. I'm going to use my Sharpie uh, S-Gel with the metal barrel, which I've been loving. You guys have known that. So let's see here. So, what I wrote was, I give this week five stars, I got some sister time in, and the kids had fun stuff, concerts, parties, shows, games. Overall, great times, love these great weeks for us and me. Yay, love my life. So, there we go guys. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching guys, and I can't wait to plan with you guys next week. Bye guys, see you later. Thank you.